Hi guys, JT here, and today I'm bringing you some information on the Humble Bundle Bundle Devious Deck Builders Bundle of April 2024. To help you answer the question, should you buy it? By using the link provided in the description below, not only will you gain access to this bundle, but you also have the opportunity to support this channel. Your support would mean the world to me, and I genuinely appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into this. At number 1 we have Book of Hours. In Book of Hours, you embark on a captivating journey through mystery and the occult. After a devastating fire destroys the ancient fortress of knowledge known as Hush House and claims the last librarian, you emerge as a sole individual with the skills to restore the library and unlock its secrets. Embrace the tranquility of sorting books and personalizing your new abode, while delving into centuries of history hidden within the mystical stones. As the newest librarian, you have opted for solitude Yet your impact reaches beyond the confines of Hush House, allowing you to shape the course of history itself. As you navigate the animatic village of Brankrug, you'll encounter a diverse cast of characters, each of their own tales to tell. From the Kili couple to the postmistress, every interaction adds depth to the narrative, drawing you further into the game's rich lore. Drawing inspiration from Weather Factory's previous title, Cultist Simulator, Book of Hours employs a familiar card system. However, this time, the game offers a less punishing experience while still providing a challenge that will test your wits and resolve. The aesthetic of Book of Hours is both haunting and beautiful, with illustrations that breathe life into the game's world. From the tranquil colours of the backgrounds to the vibrant hues of the cards, every detail is meticulously crafted to enhance the player's experience. While the puzzles may prove challenging at times, the allure of the game's prose and artwork keeps you engaged throughout. Book of Hours is a testament to the power of storytelling, offering a captivating blend of mystery, exploration, and adventure. Book of Hours is a must-play for fans of atmospheric RPGs and narrative-driven games. With its exquisite prose, stunning artwork, and intricate storytelling, it offers an unforgettable gaming experience that will leave you spellbound from start to finish. And number 2 we have Astria, Six-Sided Oracles, a captivating roguelike experience that stands out in the realm of dice-building mechanics. This title eschews traditional deck building for a dice building approach, and the results are nothing short of stellar. Set in a star system orbiting the mystical Astria, the game seamlessly weaves together story and gameplay. Astria, a reverse star, gives astrobancy to its planets, ushering in a prosperous starlit age. However, when Astria's light dims, chaos ensues, and corruption plagues the inhabitants. You embody one of the oracles, armed with an astrarium, striving to purify the corrupted and restore balance. Starting with Mooney and Owl Oracle, you gradually unlock five others, each with a distinct playstyle. The game's challenges lies in balancing risk and reward, with combat based entirely on the roll of dice. You aim to purify corrupted foes using your pool of dice, each offering both positive and negative possibilities. Astria, Six-Sided Oracles, intricately incorporates the duality theme, from the blessings Star and Black Hole to the virtues that depend on controlled corruption. As you progress, the game introduces complexities like rolling opponent dice, mechanical allies called sentinels, and diverse status effects. The visually stunning game employs a unique color palette, combining red, blue, white, and black. The aesthetic, complemented by haunting and sorrowful music, evokes a blend of zombie horror, exorcism, and Lovecraftian elements. While challenging and demanding, Astria rewards patient exploration of its intricate mechanics. Astria, Six-Sided Oracles, stands as the best offering from Akupara Games, delivering a challenging, beautiful, and complex roguelike experience. Whether you're a seasoned fan of the genre or new to dice building, this game is a must-play, offering a joyful and immersive journey into the mystic age of Astria. And number 3 we have Dungeon Drafters. In Dungeon Drafters, you're thrust into a captivating blend of dungeon crawling and cart mechanics, offering a fresh take on the familiar hero's journey. As you embark on your quest to rid the land of evil, you'll encounter a variety of starting heroes, each of their own unique deck of cards. While the narrative may lack depth, the addictive gameplay more than compensates for this. Battles unfold in a turn-based fashion, with the strategic use of cards determining your success. You'll have to manage your action points wisely, balancing movement, attacks, and card usage to overcome relentless foes. What distinguishes Dungeon Drafters is the freedom it provides in how you engage in combat. If luck is not on your side, you can adapt your strategy, utilizing environmental hazards and healing items to your advantage. The roguelite elements add an extra layer of challenge, with each failed run resulting in a loss of collected loot. However, occasional shrines provide a lifeline, allowing you to return to town with your spoils intact. 
deck building enthusiasts will delight in the ability to customize their card decks, tailoring them to suit different dungeon environments and playstyles. Dungeon drafters may take some time to fully grasp its intricacies, but once it clicks, it's a captivating experience. The pixel art graphics and upbeat soundtrack contribute to its warm and welcoming atmosphere, while the diverse dungeon designs keep gameplay fresh and engaging. Despite a few technical hiccups, Dungeon Drafters is a delightful blend of strategy and adventure, offering hours of enjoyment for both newcomers and veterans of the genre. With its deep mechanics and endless replayability, it's a title that's sure to keep you hooked for the long haul. And number 4 we have Maho Kenshi, the Samurai Deck Builder. In Maho Kenshi, Game Source Studio and Iceberg Interactive bring forth a captivating blend of Japanese mythology and deck building mechanics, setting it apart in the ever expanding landscape of card games. As you assume the role of one of the four Maho Kenshi samurais, each representing a specific elemental house, you embark on a mission to defend celestial islands from invading forces. The game seamlessly integrates turn based strategy elements with hex grid maps where terrain advantages and disadvantages play a crucial role in battle. Movement across varied landscapes requires strategic energy management, with hills and mountains offering defensive or offensive buffs. Enemies pose relentless challenges, demanding adaptive strategies and thoughtful card usage to overcome. What distinguishes Maho Kenshi is its in-mission deck building, allowing players to tailor their decks based on evolving objectives. Towns and castles offer opportunities to acquire new cards, upgrade existing ones, or destroy unwanted ones, ensuring a bespoke approach to each mission. Despite its strengths, Maho Kenshi grapples with the inherent randomness of deck building games, occasionally leading to frustrating scenarios. Additionally, the initial lock on three of the four heroes may deter experimentation, but perseverance reveals the depth of each character's playstyle. Visually, Maho Kenshi excels with its immersive Japanese themed art and environments. Although some details in card actions could use refinement, the music, while fitting, lacks memorability. Maho Kenshi stands as a visually captivating and mechanically solid addition to the deck building genre offering a unique blend of tabletop gameplay and traditional progression systems. While it may stumble at times, its innovative approach to deck customization and mission adaptability ensures an engaging experience for fans of card games and board games alike. And number 5 we have Zoti. In Zoti, you step into a world where the noble goddess Zoti and her counterpart the goddess of demons named Nessus engage in an eternal struggle. As one of the three characters embarking on a heroic journey, You'll navigate through a realm filled with empowered humans and mighty demigods. Each character, from the stalwart knight Valentina to the cunning thief Elvis and the elemental magician Nikora, offers a unique playstyle tied to a poker based attack system. Drawing cards from your deck each turn, you aim to form poker hands that correspond to your skills, unleashing devastating attacks or strategic maneuvers. While Zoti boasts lush hand painted visuals and engaging gameplay mechanics, it falls short in several areas. The lack of in-game tutorials leaves players to figure out crucial mechanics on their own, leading to initial confusion and frustration. Additionally, minor glitches, such as language mix-ups and dialogues and occasional interface issues, detract from the overall experience. The difficulty curve in Zoti can be steep and unforgiving, with sudden spikes catching players off guard. Despite these challenges, the game's compelling art style and strategic depth make it worth exploring for fans of the roguelike deck builder genre. Zoti offers a visually captivating adventure with an intriguing poker-based combat system, but its flaws hinder its potential for greatness. With some refinement and polish, it could truly shine as a standout title in its genre. At number 6 we have Gordian Quest, a deck-building adventure game that combines RPG elements and turn-based combat. This game offers a unique gameplay experience with a tabletop flavor. While the story is minimal and lacks depth, the game compensates with its thrilling battles and a bittersweet feeling of losing party members. It caters to players already interested in deck building and turn based combat genres, providing depth, strategy, and replayability. In Gordian Quest, you assemble a party of three from a diverse selection of characters, each with their own decks. The town hub serves as a central location for quests and offers a variety of weapons, spells, armor, and upgrades. The story is conveyed through dialogue boxes, lacking character interaction and depth. However, the RPG elements, loot system, and abundance of options compensate for this. Gordian Quest requires careful consideration of stats and systems, with minimal tutorials, allowing players to explore and discover mechanics independently. The game features decision-based events outside of combat, adding variety and randomness through dice rolls and modifiers. The addictive gameplay loop keeps you engaged with minimal downtime between battles. Each fight offers opportunities for experimentation and strategic card play. While combat scenarios and enemy variety may become repetitive, the quick-paced battles maintain interest. 
The game's challenge level may feel easy at times, leading to complacency, but underestimating opponents can have severe consequences. With a campaign lasting around 30 hours, an endless mode, and online PvP options, Gordian Quest offers extensive content and replayability. Gordian Quest doesn't revolutionize the genre, but provides a satisfying experience that caters to specific gaming preferences. Dive into this digital Dungeons & Dragons-like adventure, where customization, learning from repetition, and making strategic choices are paramount to success. And number 7 we have... Floppy Knights. In Floppy Knights, you're welcome into a whimsical world of technical card battles, with its endearing protagonist, Phoebe, leading the charge. This delightful adventure blends strategy with charm, offering a joyful experience that grows more rewarding with each play session. As Phoebe, you embark on a quest to prove your genius by competing in local tournaments with your floppy knights, aided by your trusty AI companion, Carlson. The narrative unfolds like a children's book, filled with lovable characters and lighthearted humor, making it easy to root for Phoebe as she tackles challenges with determination. The gameplay revolves around tactical card battles on tiled battlefields, where you strategically deploy floppy knights to overcome various obstacles and foes. Each unit card grants corresponding action cards, requiring careful energy management and strategic planning to emerge victorious. The skill curve is finely tuned, gradually ramping up the challenge while introducing new mechanics and objectives to keep you engaged. Beyond its engaging gameplay, Floppy Knights offers a collectible aspect, allowing you to earn and craft new unit cards to customize your deck. The vibrant art style, reminiscent of animated storybook pages, adds to the game's charm, creating a visually captivating experience. Floppy Knights is more than just a simple card battler. It evolves into a meteor game the longer you delve into its world. With satisfying technical battles, challenging maps, and a welcoming atmosphere, it's a joyful journey that offers ample rewards for those willing to embark on Phoebe's journey. And that's all for this bundle. Among the standout titles, Book of Hours captivates with its intriguing fusion of card mechanics and time management. Astria, Zoti, and Gordian Quest shine brightly with their engaging combat mechanics. While it may not claim the top spot on the list, Mao Kenji's distinctive samurai setting sets it apart, making it a noteworthy addition to the exceptional lineup. In any case, kindly show support by liking and subscribing to the channel, and I look forward to connecting with you in the upcoming video.